Well, let, let's see what happens if we turn that kicker down a stop. Okay, so turn this way a little bit. Yeah, so I, I turned him that way because if he um, turned in this direction, that kicker would hit the side of his nose. I just wanted it to be sort of on the back of his neck here. Okay, so that's too dim and that's 2.8. And now, just with him in the same spot, this is F4 for the kicker. And that is a little too bright. I'm going to go down 5 tenths. So we're, we're at 2.8 and a half on the back of his neck. OK, that feels really good overall. OK, great. I think the main takeaway from this is just so we can know what we learned from this experiment with Amir is that we need uh, his face to be one third of a stop brighter than the camera's uh, setting. So that was uh, his face would meter at 5.6 and a third and his face would meter at, I'm sorry, and the camera is set to 5.6. Then for this edge light over here, I know I said 2.8 and a half. Probably just think about it as maybe we need it to meter at 2.8 and a third. Uh, and that would be a stop and a third darker than our exposure. And then the hair light, it's metering at f4, so that's one stop darker than our exposure. So roughly, we're talking about a one to two ratio between the main light and the accent lights. But that kicker, it just turned down a little bit more. So now that we know what we should look for in order to get uh, the best lighting for a mirror, we're gonna go ahead now and switch over to Vincenzo and see what it looks like uh, with him in the chair instead. Okay, great. Let's see how this is gonna look. And I'm going to start off by metering his face. Remember, we're shooting at 5.6, so we need that to be at 5.6 as well for the beginning of our experiment here. So I'll grab my light meter, and now I'll turn it on. It always goes to sleep, and it takes a while to boot back up. And it's almost there. Okay, great. Okay, so group one for the face, and I'll come over, test that out. Okay, 5.6 even right now. Let's go ahead and just switch this over to group one. There we go. Here is what it looks like with only group one. Okay, 